Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Andy Confusion. So today we will install LAMP and MySQL Workbench because we have to use PHP AGI for our asterisk and uh, we will make use of database to call our user that is SIP here. So let's begin. First of all, login as super user and then do a PT update. Once it is updated, we will in start installing LAMP server. So LAMP is basically for Linux, it is Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. We will use PHP language here. So any version of PHP can be installed. So once it will finish, I will start installing LAMP. Okay. Now let's install Apache 2 first. And after installing, we will check whether it is successfully installed or not. So for that, let's open our Chrome. And here we have to write our IP address like this. Let's see whether it is installed. Okay, so it is installed. Now let's check by typing our IP. As you can see, Apache successfully showed this so our Apache is installed now second thing is we have to install PHP and some of its dependencies so to install PHP we have to do these things which are apt-get install php and its version like i'll install php5 and then lib apache 2 So this package will be installed now and after installing these we will install MySQL MySQL server so to install MySQL server This is installing all the modules. So now let's install MySQL server. MySQL dash server. So we have installed. Okay, so here it is asking for the new password. Let's not set any password, let's leave it blank. It will last two to three times. So every time we have to do it blank. So we have installed Apache from LAMP. We have installed Apache and currently we are installing mysql and we also have installed php now our mysql is also installed now the last thing which we have to install is mysql workbench so for mysql workbench do a pt get install mysql workbench Okay, so our MySQL workbench is also installed. Let's see. Okay, so 
here it is and for php let's check by using where is where is php and it will return the path and user bin php so php is also successfully installed and now let's create let's create a database in our workbench this database and the table which we will declare inside this database we will use them for our respective agi as you can see i have tested it so let's firstly remove all these things and remove this also or you can establish this connection by doing this when you will install this workbench click on this plus symbol and it will ask for the name of your connection so type any name let's type connect and your host name and port and username and as we haven't defined any password we left it blank so we left it blank here also and let's check for whether it is connected okay so all parameters are correct now let's press okay as you can see this is created here so now it is getting created let's give it some time okay so now it is created and let's move inside it and here click on this icon to create a new database let's name this database as astrip and you can leave it blank it will by default choose any collation that will be default and if you want that your database should support hindi also so for that you should use utf8 unicode ci utf8 unicode ci Here it is. Here it is. Click on apply. And the database is created now. Let's see whether it is created. Okay, as you can see here it is. So our database is created. Now let's move inside this database and click on table and create new table. So here, let's name this table as calling table, and first will be serial number, which is auto increment, and the second would be call number. It would be where. so these two columns are created in this table and let's click on apply now you can see that these columns are created this so let's fill this value first value our peer name was test1 so apply it and now you can see this table consists of these records so now we will use these records for what to make a call to that user that is test one from shobhit that was our other step here so now we will make use of php agi that will fetch the value from database and will call this user so we will do this task in my next video and guys please
keep following me and keep subscribing my channel as if this is helpful for you then please like and subscribe thank you guys